Um, I'm honestly, I'm doing this right after I got home because I want to just get this over with and then not have to think about this game ever again for the next week. <sighs> Milan lose 2-0 in the first leg of the Champions League semifinals to Inter in um, you know, the biggest derby of, I don't know, the past 20 years or some shit. <sighs> I'm not even, if you're looking for some tactical analysis or any crap like that, uh, just I'm not the person for you right now because I could. You, I just don't think you can watch those kind of games the first time with any like analytical perspective or whatever. Like I, I'm watching purely emotional, and I'm only paying attention. I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm not paying attention the same way I would if it, if it was the second time or if, it, if I was a neutral. So I just think they succumb to nerves, right? So obviously there's nerves. You're in a, a derby, Champions League semi final, right? Neither team have ever been to anything um, this big. And, and I get it. I get it. Obviously, there's nerves. But what always exacerbates nerves, what makes nerves more apparent, what makes a, team's co- a team collapse in 12 minutes because of how nervous they are, is the lack of technical quality. That's always what makes teams collapse, right? Because if you have technical quality, okay, you're nervous, but you keep the ball a little bit, you get it out of tight spaces, you're not as pressed as easily. So the, the nerves, you know, relax. Um, and we have some, some really technical players, you know, some guys who whose decision-making doesn't fluctuate in, under pressure, you know. Um, Leao was one of those guys. Obviously, he, he's, he wasn't, he's injured. Um, ben Nasser is one of those guys. Obviously, he got injured. And he came off. Um, Tonadi is one of those guys, but past that, I mean, it's it's not it's not good. I guess Mike Mike is one of those guys. As far as goalkeepers go, he's he's a very very technically sound goalkeeper. So I, I guess there's like four guys, let's say, right? And there's other guys who are fine, right? There's other guys who are fine. Kiad is fine. Tomori's fine. Kabea is fine. I guess whatever. Teo's good. Teo's above average. But there are there there was just one too many guys who under pressure their decision making goes to shit, you know. Kroonic, Messias, Brahim, Salamakers, Chirud, like you put these guys on the pitch, and there's a ceiling. There is a ceiling that of what you can reach, right? And the ceiling is significantly lower without Leao. So you put the ceiling, and we hit it head first. 12 minutes, 7 minutes, whatever it is into the game, we hit the ceiling head first of how we could play out of the press. Uh, it was just bad decision after bad decision after bad decision. They just looked like they, they were children. They honestly looked like children. It looked like, you know what it looked like? It looked like the first fucking Champions League game we played with this team against Liverpool. That first 20 minutes against Liverpool, that's what that looked like. And I thought we had gotten past it, but again, like I said, I, I thought we had gone, gone past these like bad starts. But again, like I said, the lack of technical quality, right, leads you here. Um, now I think I'll just go to the starting lineup. And I, I just, or, or the whoever played, like, Mike, I don't care. Fine. None of, neither of the goals were his fault. I would have liked him to see, to do better in the first goal. It was literally right down the middle. But I understand that's a difficult situation to be in as a goalkeeper. Um, Calabria was awful, horrific, like terrible passing, uh, terrible passing all game, but even worse defensively, um, just got bullied every time he was anywhere near the ball. Um, Kjaer, just not, not, not at the level. The pace is just too fast for him. Um, the intensity is too much for him at this stage of his career after that injury. No, just don't play him next week. Like, don't bring in Chow, who was much better when he came on. Just, yeah, like, that, the, the Kjaer time, the time for Kjaer in these big high-leverage intensity match, matches is, is not is not there. Um, Tomori was awful, and I've stuck my neck out for him time and time again, and I still believe in him, but, no, he, he was horrific. He was genuinely horrific. Like, the, the referee was awful, so let me start with that, but, but the referee was awful because he let so much physicality go in the game, right? Well, if there's physicality let it, let, being let go, be physical. Be physical. Out physical Jekyll, man. For the love of fucking God, push him off his spot. Every single time the he, he came down with the ball, it was easy. It was fucking easy. Every single time. Unacceptable, man. 
Teo was whatever. He was just whatever. When he doesn't have Leao and he's not running at people, the rest of his game is offensively is pretty limited. Like his crossing has always been bad, just flat out bad. Um, what else do we got? Uh, Krunic. I mean, you like I said, I love Krunic. His heart is in the right place, but man, his brain is everywhere else. His brain is in all the wrong places. He he's just like I said. There's just a ceiling you hit with the, with these players. We need a Kronic, but better. Like, we need an upgrade on Kronic. The things he gives you are important and are necessary, but the things he, he, he lacks are glaring in these kind of games. He's just an idiot sometimes. Um, Tonali is the only player on the entire uh, team who can hold his head up, head up high. The only person with even the slightest uh, moments of quality. Uh, the, only mo- the only person who actually came close to doing anything. Um... And he had his poor moments, don't get me wrong, the way everybody did, but he, but he at least carried himself like he was part of the the solution rather than part of the problem. Um, <clears throat> you have Alexis, again, fine, he has his little dribbles, but nothing anybody's worried about. Uh, he, he's dribbling into five, in, in, into groups of five, I, I don't know what he's trying to do in that. He's not, he, he's not trying to pass it off, he, he's not trying to link up with his teammates, he's just trying to go on his own. It's never going to work. It worked that one time against Napoli, it's not going to work again. Find some shit, man. Um, Brahim, he, he just a s- standard Brahim in the middle of, uh, you know, at attacking midfield performance because Benasta had to come off. Um, he's weak. He's weak. And and the referee didn't help because the referee constantly whistled or played on or waved off clear fouls on Brahim. But, like, again... He got. He would get the ball, and if he wasn't, fa- if he was fouled, then the referee wouldn't call it. And if he wasn't fouled, he was just soft, and would lose the ball. Um, Messias. What do you even say about Messias? Like truly, if you, if you struggle to believe in God, if you struggle to believe in the existence of a higher power, you know, if you don't think that it's possible, if you don't see the signs. Then look no further than Junior fucking Messias, man. The height of this dude's professional and career success should have been delivery driver. That's it. That's the best thing that his resume should have said. Okay? And yet, by the sheer grace of God, he came on in the Champions League semi final for AC Milan. Like, that's like, if that doesn't show you that there's something bigger than us, then I don't know what does, honestly. Um, Giroud, again, th- there's just a ceiling, a hard fucking ceiling that hurts when you hit it, like it hurt today, with playing a striker who can't move, he can't move, he can't go right, he can't go left, all he can do is play the 50-50 balls, which again, all the referees allow him to be fouled on those, all of them, not just this ter- today's terrible referee, everybody lets, lets those strikers get fouled, if you're just going to constantly play for the 50-50 aerial duels. So uh, again, you hit a ceiling. All we have and 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 the fun the worst, the absolute worst part of it all is that all we needed was one fucking goal. All we needed was one goddamn goal and you go into the second leg and you're like, "Hey, we're within layout range. All we need is to win by one and we go to extra time. Or win by two and we win the game." Um, now it's an uphill battle. It's a very uphill battle. Um, and we're hoping Leao comes back, and I'm praying Ben Asser get, comes back. And if he doesn't, I think Ben Asser, I don't know if he is or not. And I'm trying to think, like, what do you do if he's not coming back? I think you go... I, I honestly don't... I'm out of answers. Like, I'm really... I, I'm genuinely out of Do you play Brahim in the middle again? Do you play CDK? God forbid, man. I, I'm so sick of hearing about that guy. I'm so sick of hearing... That guy fucking sucks, man. He really sucks. Like, if you, if you watch the Cremonese game and you still have faith in him, then it's nothing but blind faith. Blind faith. You close your eyes and you say, God, I hope that this CDK guy comes through. But But there's nothing on the pitch that suggests in any way, shape, or form that he can perform at this level. He really can't. Um, so honestly, I don't know. Do you play Krunic in attacking midfield and then play Pobega? 
it's you're just running out of answers. You're running out of answers with the squad because this is a genuinely terribly built squad. The 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 depth is genuinely awful. Uh, Origi came on. He had nice moments. I'll say that he had a couple nice dribbles. But like I said, the ceiling was hit. We hit it head on. Um, there's a second leg, so nothing is over. Crazier, way crazier shit has happened. Um, like the ultimate fact is, if you are you if you ask me, can we beat this team by t- by a two goal margin? Of course we can. Obviously we fucking can. They're not that good. They really weren't that good today either. We were just exceptionally terrible. Um, but do I have do I have genuine belief that they're gonna do that? No, I don't. I hope. I'll watch. I'll be there and I'll cheer, but I I don't have genuine belief that they'll do that. 